Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the first two parts of question number eight. In this, you you have to use this identity to find what should be the answer here. So first of all, this is hundred and three multiplied with hundred and four, and this value is in this form. So if I have to convert this into a x plus a into x plus b. So because these are close to hundred, so it is better to write it hundred plus three, and this is hundred plus four. So R here X becomes hundred, A becomes three, and B becomes four, because hundred plus three is X plus A, and hundred plus four is X plus B. Now if you want to expand this, so this can be expanded as X square. Plus a plus b into x plus ab. So our x here is hundred square plus our a here is three plus b here is four into x, which is hundred, and plus a into b, which is three into four. So hundred square. We know that we have to double the number of zero present in this hundred. So hundred square will become ten thousand. And three plus four is seven, and seven into hundred is seven hundred, and three into four is twelve. Now I have to add two zero, two zero, and twelve will be as it is. This and this will become seven and zero one. So one zero seven point two should be the answer here. Similarly, if I have to solve this. Again, these two numbers are close to five, so this can be written as five plus point one, and this can be written as five plus point two. So R here X will be five, A will be point one, and B will be point two. This is X plus A into X plus B, and we know that this is equal to X square. So our X is five whole square. Plus a plus b into x plus a into b. So this value can be expanded as this. Solving this, five square should be twenty five, and this is point two point one should be point three into five, and plus. This should be two into one is two, and because there are two decimals, or you can say two digits after the decimal, so I have to put decimal after counting two from the right. So one, if there is no number, so we can adjust it as zero. So this will become point zero two. Again, this is twenty five plus five into three is fifteen, and there is. Only one des one digit after the decimal, so this will become one point five, and this will remain as it is. Now we have to solve this to make them similar. I can write this as twenty five point zero zero one point five zero, and this is point zero two. So this is zero, and these can be can these can be added. Zero zero two is two, and zero five zero is five. So this will become fifty point five two, and twenty five plus one is twenty six. So twenty six point five two should be the answer for this second part. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in math, you can contact us on truemath dot com. Thank you.